Hi everyone, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, it's called The Other Side of the Coin. Um, I thought about doing this because um, there's not enough um, you know, space in Twitter to, to do a detailed video and sometimes I feel like um, I want to explain my thoughts and my messages with a little bit more detail as opposed to condensing it down. So um, please don't feel obligated that you have to subscribe, you have to do this, you have to do that, do it if you want to. It's just a way for me uh, to express some of my views um, on, on um, everything football, I suppose, uh, allows me to, uh, you know, send out my thoughts to my followers and, and, you know, football fans in general. So without further ado, um, the three things that I want to uh, kind of talk about um, in this particular segment is one, um, talk about some of my recent findings that I've seen um, for you know in our preseason game so far, and you know what sort of Frank is bringing to our team. Um, the second point is um, you know a couple of players that have sort of caught my eyes and a couple of concerns um, so far, um, and lastly, uh, basically my expectation of the season and you know. Um, you know where, where do we sit in terms of all the different experiments that we're doing in preseason at the moment? So um, let's start with the first one, um, which is my findings um, within the first few games of this preseason. Now it's clear, probably for most of you guys, that Frank prefers the four-two-three-one and also the four-four-two diamond. Um, the four-three-three is probably not one of his favorite formation. Um, I feel his default formation is 4-2-3-1. Um, I haven't watched too much of um, Derby's match last season, but um, many say that that was his formation um, as well. Um, so we're probably gonna be set up in, in, in that manner, and, and he's tried that obviously in this preseason. Um, so far, I feel, you know, obviously with Kante, he's injured, he's gone back to London, I feel, um, Kovacic and Jorginho is probably the best combination um, in that double pivot role. We've seen um, Bakayoko and Drinkwater get that opportunity, but they're not as uh, intense as um, Jorginho and Kova. Um, and, and so that's the formation. Um, and the general idea seems like Lampard wants to press high. Um, he wants to do a lot of work without the ball. Um, still build up. Um, still have possession, but it's not going to be the same style of possession as last season. Um, it, it feels like whenever we have the possession, it's it's going to be quick movement and trying to penetrate through the middle, find that pass, key pass through the middle and create a lot of chaos in the defensive area, bring the wingers back in so you open up the wide space for, for the fullbacks. Um, and, and basically, whenever we have the ball, it's, it's, it's just, you know, make things happen quicker as opposed to more patient build up um, like last season, you know, trying to move the opposition around side to side and whatnot um, and find that um, and uh, find that hole in the in the defense. But so, yeah, it's, it's high pressing, lots of work without the ball, uh, more through the middle um, to open up the wide spaces. Um, and yeah, it feels like a lot like how Liverpool kind of plays. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be exactly the Gagan press, but but it feels like that is the concept that Lampard wants, um, and we've already seen that um, um, over the last three games. More specifically, um, the first half of uh, against Kawasaki, where we really really pressed hard. So these are some of the findings that I've, I've felt, and and those are the couple of formations. Um, the diamond does look very uh, effective as well. Uh, I'm not sure how often we're going to use that. I feel like against weaker teams, um, we may go with the two up front and um, allow, you know, Batshuayi or Giroud or Tammy Abraham, uh, combination of any of those guys to, to um, you know, play up front. Um, and now moving into the second part, which is, you know, some of the players that sort of caught my eyes um, within the first few games. One of them is uh, Mason Mount, and I know he's been getting a lot of um, flack in social media, and a lot of a lot of our fan base, uh, you know, 
seem to have a, a negative view towards youth. Um, uh, you know, there's there's still a lot that that value the youth, but there are certain parts of the um, fan base that look down on them. Um, you know, want them sold, want better quality. But Mason Mount, you know, I'll be I'll be honest. Um, I didn't see too much of him last season. Obviously, there was a lot of comparison. Um, you know, people didn't want him. People want, um, you know, uh, uh, Iowa uh, from Leon. Um, and having seen him the last few games in this preseason, I feel like he's, he's a decent player. Um, you know, the way he presses, especially when he when he's in that diamond formation, um, you know, he's, he's probably one of our most creative players at the moment, you know, excluding the injured players that we already have. Um, you know, you look at our team um, in terms of the strike strikers that we have, the wingers that we have, and the midfielders. He's, he's up there, I would say, with Pulisic and um, and probably Kovacic and Jorginho. He's up there in terms of creativity. He presses quite hard. Um, so far, you know, it, it's the physical component of the game doesn't seem to phase him too much. Um, he's always got a keen eye for a goal and he's always looking for that penetrating pass um, down the middle whenever he gets the ball He's always looking for that attacking pass. So that's really really impressive um, uh, that I've seen um, obviously um, There are other few uh, good performances Batshuayi has uh, so far shown, you know, he's really really hungry um, Even though there's a lot of talks that Giroud probably will get an opportunity up front, but I don't think Batshuayi is, you know, too far off that. What Batshuayi probably offers is a lot of energy, a lot of intensity, as opposed to Giroud. Um, but obviously, we all know Giroud is a far more of a goal scorer probably uh, than Batshuayi. Um, the concern, however, for me is, uh, which was in the Kawasaki game, is in the four-two-three-one that we played uh, in the first half. There was a lot of um, moments where, especially at Spilicueta's side, where, you know, wingers tucked in and then we had plenty of space out wide and Aspilicueta got plenty of opportunity and room out wide and there were a few times where he hit the byline as well, um, but he was unable to um, produce the killer pass. And, and this is where I feel, and, and that goes with the left side as well, and this is where I feel is so crucial this season. And I know fullbacks are very important anyway, um, you look at some of the successful teams um, last season in terms of Liverpool and Manchester City um, in the Premier League. Now these these guys have some seriously good fullbacks, um, you know, who assist, score goals. Um, you know, for us, it's going to be so important if they don't if they don't score goals, they've got to at least um, produce some assists and produce a lot of quality deliveries, you know, for our midfielders and for our strikers to have enough opportunity to put away a goal. Um, so that was a concerning factor for me uh, against the Kawasaki game is that we didn't create enough opportunities. We got into good areas, um, but we didn't create enough um, opportunities to actually score goals. Um, and now I suppose um, what I want to touch on is the final part, um, which is, you know, what's my expectation and um, you know the experimentations that we're doing in preseason. So a lot of people um, already this season is saying, "Oh, they're not really expecting much." Um, that some people are even saying the whole season's actually uh, a write-off and the whole season's actually an experiment uh, for Frank Lampard. I don't think so. Um, you know, I still, as Frank said, you know, he, he wants to be competitive. That's that's the least um, of the objective, I suppose. Um, I feel the three games we've seen so far, like us fans have seen probably enough and I hope Frank has seen enough that the players that don't work so far, um, we've seen a clear indication in the second half of the Kawasaki game where um, Bakayoko and Drinkwater came on and we lost complete control in the midfield. Um, now we don't need to keep seeing that, you know, the match against Barcelona is tomorrow. Um, I, I get, you know, we need to give opportunities. Uh, this is the preseason. We got to give opportunities to see more of them. But I feel like the season is so close now, and and we've got an important Super Cup game as well, which is a few days after our first game. You know, it gives us a perfect opportunity to win a title straight away, and you know, 
opportunity for Frank to win a title right away. Um, we shouldn't enter the new season with a mindset that oh, the whole season's a, a, an experiment. Um, I feel we've seen enough of Bakayoko, enough of Drinkwater. I sure give them an opportunity in the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever the case is. But Frank's got to really, really start realising who's his 11 that's most likely going to start against Man United and probably will start in the first couple of months um, in the Premier League season. So, you know, we should start looking at these preseason game as an opportunity um, to start gelling the team. Um, you know, some of the fundamentals of last season is 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 changing in terms of the formation. Uh, yes, some of the fundamentals are still there, but, um, you know, we're going to press a lot higher. We're going to try and win the ball back. Lots of work off the ball. So the right um, starting lineup needs to happen. The right personnel needs to start so that they can start understanding each other um, in this formation and start executing some of Frank's plans. Um, and sure, you know, play them 65, 70 minutes and then get your back yokers and drink orders and whatnot. Um, I don't think 45 minutes is enough anymore to, to start... Um, you know, knuckling down for that starting 11. So that's my, you know, idea in terms of experimentation. My expectation for the upcoming season, I still feel we've got a solid enough squad um, to come to fight for top four, um, at least. Um, you know, for me, I feel Manchester City and Liverpool are way beyond um you know their their level of football is just so superior at the moment they're probably going to fight out for the league again um but third fourth um you know that's pretty much up for grabs for anyone you know across ourselves arsenal spurs man united leicester everton um and wolves probably so you know we've got a good opportunity um to still come third or fourth and and i and I expect us to to get those positions. Um, Champions League is so important for us next season to to one not just financially, but also in terms of um, you know getting quality signings for next season when the ban's over um, in areas where we need. Um, so yeah, um, for me it's definitely not a write off, um, and I, I personally don't want to look at this season as as an experiment. Um, sure, yes, there's going to be some leeway for Frank, obviously, um, but it, it's still a serious season for us. So, yeah, these are my thoughts. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed my first video. Um, I'm planning to do uh, more of these in, in probably, you know, every three to four days, um, just providing some of my own um, footballing thoughts and analysis. Um, Please um, give me some feedback. Let me know um, what you think about the video, some of my points. Let's have a health, healthy discussion and uh, take it from there. Thank you. See ya.